Uh, this is the Conqueror GC. This is a British Tier 10 SPG, and the map is El Halouf. I'm going to get 3,400 damage in this game. And today's episode of World of Tanks is sponsored by Ladies' Choice Peanut Butter. When you want peanut-flavored peanut butter, try Ladies' Choice. Okay, now into the action. You see that the team is moving very quickly. Oh, look at that grill. What do you see? Lots of hit points. I see a fire starting. Yeah, I can pull it off. You think I can pull it off? Oh, look at that. 1,218 damage from the Conqueror GC plus 214 fire damage. He totally deserved it. He just got grilled. Scores 1 to 0. I got 1,432 damage. As you can see, the enemy left the south undefended, which means we've already spotted the enemy SPG. I figured that that EBR would have... Uh, Finished off um, those SPGs by the time I got reloaded, so I chose not to do it. But you'll notice that the Yag Panzer E100, who I was going to fire at, destroyed the EBR. So, you know what? Sucks for you, EBR. So that was 214 uh, damage on the T95. You see that the enemy uh, EBR has uh, come out to defend in the south. Might be too late. Ladies' choice. You know what? I'm going to have some peanut butter. Look at that shot. It's going to be a beautiful shot. I'm so excited. What do we got here? Object 277 and a Jag Panzer E100. Oh, yeah, 140 damage on the E100 and 352 on the Object 277. They both deserve it. I don't have a fork. Oh, I do have a fork. Mm. Ladies' choice. It's actually good. Apparently, this is Philippine peanut butter. Okay, so I got uh, 127 damage on the 60 TP, 154 on the Jag Panzer E100, and 127 on the T57 Heavy. So one thing that's great about SPG is you can do any mission where you have to do damage to many tanks. And that's the reason why I was able to do the Chimera missions so easily. Did, did the majority of them with SPG except for Germany. Any mission where it said, oh, you have to damage five tanks, did it with SPG. Or there was one where it said you have to damage 12 tanks, did it with SPG. It was a piece of cake. You could damage three tanks with one shot. That was 353 on the Jag Panzer E100. As I stated at the beginning of the game, I am going to get 3,400 damage in this game. I'm up to 2899 in the in game stats. Scores 5 to 3. We're winning, obviously, because of me. And this is a great game. And this is after Artie has been heavily nerfed. It used to be that if you directly hit an enemy tank, it would one-shot pretty much anything. But that doesn't happen anymore. They heavily, heavily nerfed SPG. So a good SPG player could totally dominate the game. Unfortunately, I really wasn't playing SPG at the time. I had always played SPG, but I really wasn't getting good at it until uh, just before they nerfed it. You know, I was still learning things like hitting fast-moving vehicles and... Uh, Positioning, being close to the enemy, etc. It's very tense here. Can we hit this guy? Is that an EBR? Come on. Yeah, it looks like I missed him. 
but he took out the T92 HMC. The score is 12 to 5. I missed the French light tank. Dommage. Okay, so obviously I'm repositioning and my ally is not. I'm going to drink some Coke Light, which has light taste. This is something that they don't have in the United States. It tastes very good. It tastes way better than Diet Coke. Okay, let's see if we can hit this guy. He totally deserves it. Somebody hit him. I hit him for 547. Dommage. Au contraire, mon frere. What is this? Oh, that was a cheat. The guy totally cheated. Cletus. What a loser. Okay, so I got 34, 46 damage. The score is 13 to 7. I'm sure we're going to win this game. I'm going to check out what the uh, the real dog is doing. Oh, maybe I won't check it out. Well, let me switch to him. Okay, that's the game. Scores 14 to 7. 15 to 7. Real dog uh, destroyed Cletus, and as I said, Cletus totally deserved it. Uh, the score was 15 to 7, and I sure you want to know that there are 8 minutes and 20 seconds that could have remained in the game. If you have any questions or comments, please post below.